What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. Bravo has dropped their new trailer for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And baby, okay, I'm going to be seated. They lost me a few years back, but I feel like this season is going to be real good, okay? So they begin with commentators. Shout out to Kim Pyre. He's a YouTuber. Him and other bloggers are speculating about... Kyle Richards and Mauricio, their on again, off again, separation, pending divorce, right? I made some earlier videos about it as well. So Kyle Richards, she once said that a tough season to film makes a good season to watch. And I could not agree more. A lot of people were saying that they were going to miss Lisa Renna or, you know, what would be the, the drama without Renna? Because she was the pot stirrer a lot of times. But to be honest, after seeing the trailer, it doesn't look like she's going to be missed much at all. So the season 13 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills just might be Kyle's toughest and her best season yet. So E.T. has an exclusive first look, and I'm going to link it to you guys. I can't play it because I don't want to get dinged by Bravo, but I will link the actual trailer to, you know, in the description box for you for e easy reference. But all the, all the housewives are pretty much asking her about her separation from her husband of 27 years, Mauricio Umansky. It might even answer some of the questions that her co-stars have about Kyle's relationship. As the group of diamond holders all seem caught off guard by Kyle and Moe's July announcement about their quote unquote rough year, the two have confirmed that they are indeed separated and taken time apart. And so Dorit, she goes, I had no idea she's on the FaceTime with her husband, PK, in the trailer. And then PK says, you know, that he recalls a recent dinner with Mo, Mauricio, that's his nickname, where he was talking with the realtor and he says that they were never separated. So this, you know, back and forth, which I mean, I get they're probably embarrassed. And, you know, I think it was TMZ or somebody was interviewing Kyle recently where she, you know, pretty much had no comment. So I can understand that it's a difficult time for them. They want their, their privacy. But that's, again, that's hard to do when you're monetizing from, you know, the public views and attention when you put your life on a reality show. So meanwhile, um, Crystal Kung Minkoff's housekeeper, Lucy, she, <laughs> she speculates, she says, somebody's cheating. As Sutton um, tells Garcelle Bouveau that she thinks that Kyle's been lying. She even goes so far to say that Kyle is in quote unquote denial. She says, every time I go online, I see something about somebody cheating, Sutton says. She says, where there's smoke, there's fire. And that smoke seems to be Morgan Wade who is the country singer who Kyle has been really close with over the last um, year. Both women have denied anything romantic going on between them, but Kyle's friends don't seem convinced. And in the trailer, as well as, you know, earlier we've seen, they got their, their initials tattooed on each other, which is a pretty intimate act. It doesn't matter, you know, whether it's, you know, family, friends, like that's, that's, a symbol of something deeper than just a surface level relationship. Kyle's not wearing her wedding band, Sutton observes, as Dorit questions why Kyle would tattoo again. So Kyle, well, why Kyle would tattoo her initial on to Morgan. I wonder if even, you know, her husband has a tat of her on him. I, I've never seen any tattoos of Mauricio anywhere, but it just is interesting. Uh, she says, I'm just glad it's you that's out there having an affair, Mauricio jokes <laughs> with his estranged wife before the two sit down with their teary-eyed daughters. Yeah, that's hard because they do have a, a daughter still, Portia. Um, she's 15. She's the only one that's underage. For what it looks like to be a tense family meeting about the state of their union. And complete strangers are like, you made us believe in true love. And now it's all, you know, Kyle's crying to Erica Jane, who cuts her off. And Erica says, you know, this is true love. There are only two people in this marriage and everybody else's opinions can just F off. So um, it's not all about Kyle, though, right? Dorit and PK, they have their marriage troubles of their own. Um, you know, they're still trying to rebuild after their house was robbed October 2021. She says, you don't understand the severity of the PTSD, she tells PK. 
Oh, I could only imagine. I mean, I had my apartment broken into years ago, but that's different because they live in Beverly Hills. Like they're behind gates and security. And so I always think when stuff like that happens, like the, my first thing is that it's an inside job, which is worse, right? Than just your apartment being broken into if you live in, an, uh, in a, a city back then when I was in college. And I didn't have a lot. These people have, you know, a lot of money and jewels and the fact that it could be someone that they would consider a friend, to me, that's a lot, a lot worse. Garcelle goes through some things as well um, as her teenage son confronts her about her parenting style, which, you know, he says that he really needed his mom a couple years ago and she wasn't there for him. Plus, we have a new housewife, Anne Marie Wiley, who makes a first impression by going after Crystal. She says, you know what else I want from you? <laughs> she says, I want to thank you. She says, for giving you something to talk about and making your bleep uh, relevant. So, um, and Crystal says, this group wants me to scream all the time. And then Crystal subsequently screams. Then Kyle and Sutton get into it over Kyle's apparent defense of Crystal at that moment. So again, we have some, you know, friend ofs that pop up, Camille Grammer, Faye, Kim Richards, which <laughs> I've always been a good, uh, a big fan of Kim's. Um, ever since her being messy with Rena at their dinner table, which is iconic. And then Denise Richards. So when Denise Richards comes in, <laughs> Erica Jade, I'm telling you, after this lawsuit with her husband, Erica is just leaning into her villain role. She is definitely in her villain era. She says, did you know what else is $7 for a bundle of Denise Richards? on old, um, You can get it on OnlyFans. Uh, she brings that up at a dinner sparking a new feud with the actress Erica come on man like she did, <laughs> she said you can see Denise Richards hold behind on only fans for only seven dollars wow she says you think I'm not gonna go as low as I effing can Erica later hisses at her former castmate and Denise replies you're one evil woman and then Erica says I am. Wow. <laughs> she says, I want to be back on stage. I want to be making new music. Erica confides in her team. But does that translate to people wanting to work with me? Well, Erica, no, not really. If you're over here talking about how you're evil and you're leaning into that, people typically don't want to be around that type of energy, but we shall see. So the cash trip this season is in Spain. And then they're also going to go to Las Vegas. We see um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia, Cynthia Bailey, as well as um, Miami's Larsa Pippen. They also make cameos on the show. So I'm here for it. I mean, I feel like, you know, the ladies are bringing it. Of course, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know if you guys are going to be seated. I'm going to be watching with popcorn popping. And I'll bring you recaps on this channel. Please be sure to like the video. It shakes it up. And let's the algorithm know that we're here. Also like, or I already said like, but share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you later. Take care, aces. Bye.